So, hello guys, I am Dr. Tala Yunus, your IELTS trainer and in this video we will talk about IELTS reading, specifically about short question answers and multiple choice questions. Before we continue to this video, let me tell you that I have prepared tips and tricks for all the question types of all the modules of IELTS. If you like this video, you should watch all the other videos in which I have presented tips and tricks for all the uh, question types in all the modules of IELTS. And the next thing is that you don't need to pay to anyone to prepare for IELTS because if you subscribe to my channel, I will send you all the IELTS preparation materials for free. You just need to understand tips and tricks from my videos and other videos and then use those uh, material that I will send you to practice for IELTS and you will practice IELTS for yourself. You don't need to join any online class. You don't need to join any academy to prepare for IELTS. You can do it by yourself. Okay. So now let's go towards our video, which is IELTS short answer and multiple choice question. So what is the question type? In this type of question, you might get a question and the answer will be uh, in the form of options. You might have to select an option from the options given below. Okay, so uh, here is the question type. For each question, choose the appropriate letter A to D and write it in the boxes 31, 32. Okay, so uh, there is uh, in this type of question, maybe you have to write option and in some cases, you might have to write answer in the form of words. And in that case, it will be mentioned that the answer should be no more than two words or no more than three words. Okay. It might be in the form of multiple choice or it might be in the form of short answers. I have combined these two question types. It's because the tips and tricks for solving these two question types are the same. So first of all, we will study the tips and tricks for solving these types of questions. Then we will solve some examples to clear our concepts to how to solve these type of questions. Okay, let's start. So the first tip is that you have to quickly go through options and highlight the keywords for matching. Okay, so uh, it, it means that you don't have to read the passage or paragraph first. You just have to look the options first and then highlight the keywords. The keywords should not be a noun or the title of paragraph. Okay, it should be specific. It should be different. It should not be a very common information. It should not be a very uh, uh, the information that has been used uh, in the every line or in every paragraph of the passage. It should be a verb or an object. It should not be a noun. Okay. So when we will solve the examples, then I will uh, show you that which key, which words are, uh, should not be used as a keyword. The next thing is that mostly these types of questions are in order. Okay. It is not necessary that every time these type of questions are in order, but most of the times we see that these types of questions are in order. It means that when you start solving this type of question, then the next, uh, the answer of the next question will be after the previous one. So uh, in that case, it will be very easy for you to solve, but we don't have to be, uh, you don't have to be sure that they will be in order. Sometimes they're not in order. If they are not in order, in that case, you should take uh, two questions at the same time and then try to find their answers. The next tip is that you should look for the synonyms. Okay. It means that if the question is asked and in the options, you see uh, the words and phrases and you do not find the exact words or phrases in the paragraph, you should look for the synonyms. You have to understand the options and then uh, you should check the same information that is provided in the option uh, to the and match that information to the passage. Uh, if you find the exact words, it is okay. But if you do not find the exact words, then you have to match for the synonyms. Also, even if you find the exact words, you have to be very sure that the exact word is correct before taking to the option because sometimes they give the exact words but they are not the answer. Uh, similarly about matching phrases I have told you before that you should look for the synonyms and matching phrases. Never skip reading other options even if you are 100% sure. No, this is very important point. It is because sometimes we just see the option and we take it and we ignore all the other options. And uh, we think that this option is correct because we have seen the exact information in the passage. 
sometimes this uh, this exercise lead us to the wrong answers it is because uh, sometimes the author uh, the two author uh, for example if something depends upon two factors okay the author gives one factor in option a it's the second factor in option b and in option d or e it combines both factors a and b okay so uh, it, for example the rain depends upon clouds rivers and both of the above okay so uh, in the passage it will be written in one line that the rain depends upon the river and after two or three lines it will be written that the rain depends upon the clouds so the correct option should be the rain depends upon the clouds and the rivers but if you see the clouds in the option a and you see that uh, uh, clouds in the passage you will take the clouds then the option your answer will be wrong because you have not read all the other option you must read all the option to be sure that you are giving the that you are writing the correct answer so never skip all the other options you must read all options before you write your answer okay yeah this is the most uh, common deception beware of the options which contain the same text as the passage sometimes sometimes author write exact same uh, exact same word as it is the option in the passage but that option is not your answer it is because the sense of that word used in the question type and the sense of that word used in the passage is not the same it means that yes you will find the exact word but it might be not your answer it means that you have to understand all the options you have to uh, visualize and understand the meaning of each and every option then you can select your option okay so if you find the exact word maybe it is a deception okay uh, yes be aware of statistical information in the options for example you are solving a question and you see 10% and just you go to to go to the passage and you see 10% and you just uh, take that answer that okay 10% is here and 10% is here you cannot do this it is because maybe the 10% that has been used in the passage is for some other cause and the 10% that has been used in the option is for another cause so if you find statistical information still you need to be very sure that you are taking the correct option because most of the times uh, students uh, tend to do that if they see 10% in the options if they see 10% in the uh, passage they just take that option they say okay okay this is this is right the 10% is right because i have seen that exact uh, number in the passage so you should not take that exact number before uh, reading the complete paragraph or uh, the complete uh, by before understanding the complete sense of the sentence the next tip is that if you think that some option is correct so uh, but you are not sure because you are uh, doing it for the first time then insert question mark in, in front of that option it depends upon your own ability if you can just remember then it is okay but if you cannot remember then you can put a question mark okay so that you can come back to that option and if you think that some option is totally irrelevant you can cross out that option it depends upon uh, it depends upon your ability it depends upon how uh, you deal with the question type okay yes this is uh, actually the next thing is that it uh, it is almost the same thing that i have told you before that be aware of the information which is correct per passage but not the answer of the asked question it means that maybe you are uh, asked a question uh, in the question type and you see some information in the passage but uh, the, in the you you find the correct information in the passage but you have to be sure that what is the asked question okay uh, the actually the thing is that in the four options or five options maybe there is a line which is correct as per passage but it is not the answer of that question okay uh, so just understand that i should i am repeating this again for example if they ask a question and there is, there are four options okay in those four options there are two options which you can find in the passage and the, uh, the the two options the information is correct as per passage 
but you have to find that option which is the answer of that asked question okay so you have to be very sure that the option that you are picking is the answer of that question okay not uh, you cannot just uh, see for example you see an option and you see exact information in the passage and you think okay i should take that answer but you have to be sure that that option should be the answer of the asked question okay so the last thing is that don't panic okay if you cannot find the answer of one question then find then you should start looking for two questions at the same time okay so uh, i think if you will learn these tips and tricks and you will apply these tips and tricks you will not uh, feel tensed in your exam okay now let's solve this example in which uh, we have we will understand the use of short question answers and uh multiple choice questions okay so okay let's see this question for each question choose the appropriate letter a to d and write it in the boxes 31 and 32 on your answer sheet okay killer whales orcas in the jkl pods prefer to eat halibut a type of salmon uh, salmon a variety of animals fish living at the bottom of the sea okay so uh orcas also known as killer whales are opportunistic feeders which means that they will take a variety of different prey species jkl pods specific group of orcas are almost exclusively fish eaters okay they are fish eaters but which type of fish they eat some studies show that up to 90% of their diet is salmon with chinook salmon being far and away their favorite it means that they like to eat chino which is the type of salmon it means that the answer should be a type of salmon yes b option okay some groups of salmon have become extinct because now the salmon have become extinct why the salmon have become extinct many of the extinct salmon stocks uh, okay Due, during the last 50 years hundreds of wild runs of salmon have become extinct due to habitat loss what is habitat loss habitat means a place to live okay so do, do we see anything in these options they have lost places to live okay this can be for option whales have eaten them no they don't get good nutrition the winters in the area are too cold okay now this is the part where, where i was telling you that you should be careful here it is written in the passage that whales eat salmon okay whales eat salmon but uh, that th this statement is correct but why the reason why become they extinct it is written here clearly that uh, okay hundreds of salmon have become extinct due to habitat loss they become extinct due to habitat loss because they have lost places to live so the option is a so in this example we have learned that maybe you can get an option uh, which is which might be correct but you have to uh, you have to see the question very carefully in this question it is mentioned that uh, they, these are extinct because they have lost place to live or here it is the habitat loss another tip is applied here that you have to understand the synonym okay okay now let's solve another example that will strengthen our concept of multiple choice questions okay in this question uh, let's see for the question choose the correct letter a to d and write it in the box 25 and 26 on your answer sheet the statements are provided here uh, now we have to be very efficient in solving this type of questions it's because the topic is very generic we all know about television okay now we have to step aside from our own opinion and we have to focus on the writer's opinion okay we have to find these statements in the passage and uh, let's see that which statement can we find in the passage according to the passage only children are affected by violence on tv only violent okay we have to be very careful with only only because if uh, the only is present here it means that in the statement it must be the only must be written okay if there is uh, written children are affected 
it does not mean that it it is uh, it it is meaning uh, its meaning is that only children okay so if it is written that violent tv programs cause violent behavior uh, but uh, the other tv programs might cause violent behavior okay so we cannot match these option unless only word is mentioned here okay so only children are affected only violent tv programs cause violent behavior children who watch more tv get poor grades watching a lot of tv may keep us from learning important social skills the next question the authors of this passage believe that some violent tv programs are funny the best plan is to stop tv watching completely it's better to watch tv with other people rather than your own seven hours a week of tv watching is acceptable okay now let's read the passage although many studies have shown that children who watch a lot tv are more likely to act violently okay now you can say that a is our correct option only children are affected by violence on tv but the word only the word only uh, changes the whole scenario if it were written here children are affected by violence on tv then th this could have been our answer but only changes the scenario it has uh, written in the past that uh many studies have shown that children who watch tv uh, who watch a lot of tv are more likely to act violently this report further verifies that tel that television vi television videos verifies that the television videos and video games actually cause violent behavior and it is among the first to evaluate a solution to a problem teachers at the in teachers at the intervention school included that program in their existing curriculum every less early lessons encourage students to keep track of and report on the time they spent watching tv or videos or playing video games to motivate them to limit those activities on their own the initial lessons were followed by tv turn off and organization that encourages less tv viewing for 10 days students were challenged to go without television videos or video games after that teacher encouraged the students to stay within a media allowance 7 hours per week almost all the students participated in turn off and most stayed under the budget for the following weeks additional lessons encouraged children to use their time more selectively and many of their final lessons had students themselves advocates reducing activities okay so uh, it is mentioned in this paragraph about the activities of the children and uh, children watching television but we cannot find information only children are affected by violence on tv only violent tv programs cause violent behavior children who watch too much tv get poor grades watching a lot of tv may keep us from learning social important skills we can't find any information here the study is by no means the first to find a link between television and violence virtually Uh, 3500 research studies on the subject in the past 40 years have shown same relationship according to the American Academy of Pediatrics among the most noteworthy studies is uh, doctors which found that exposure to the television violence in childhood is the strongest predictor of aggressive behavior later in life stronger even than violent behavior as a children the more violent television the subjects watched at the age of 8 the more serious was the aggressive behavior even at 22 years later okay there is a link between the violent television subjects in the children okay so uh, but the thing is here is only if there was not only here then this could have been our option that violent tv programs cause violent behavior but the thing is that violent behavior can be caused by other things as well not only violent tv program can cause violent behavior okay so the more violent television okay uh, in united states canada murder rates doubled after the introduction of television after the tv uh, first tv generation grew up this tested the pattern in south africa where television broadcasts were banned until 1975 murder rates remained relatively steady from this area to this area central study implies that the medium of television not just content promotes violence study by dr robinson sports at conclusion the turn off did not specifically target that violent television neither did the following allowance period reducing television in general reduces the aggressive behavior even the television that is not violent is more violent in real life uh, violent 
okay and may lead viewers to believe that violence is funny okay some viewers think that violence is funny after uh, also watching television any of the content robs us the time to interact with people with the real people okay now this is author's opinion watching television of any content robs us of the time to interact with the real people it means that watching television reduces our time to interact with the other people okay do we find any type of any uh, this information here okay according to the passage only children are affected by violence the word only uh, uh, changes the scenario only violent TV programs causes violent behavior only changes the scenario children who watch too much TV get poor grades no we can't find any information watching a lot of TV may keep us from learning important social skills it means that uh, we cannot socialize if we watch a lot of TV watching too much TV may inhibit the skills and patience we need to get along with others without restoring to aggression okay inhibit skills patient we need to get along with others uh, it is the same thing watching a lot of tv may keep us from learning important social skills so the answer should be d watching a lot of tv tv may keep us from learning important social skills okay so uh, we need to get along with others without restoring aggression tv as a medium promotes aggression the best solution is to turn it off the authors of this passage believe that some violent TV programs are funny. No, the best plan is to stop TV, stop watching TV permanently. Okay, maybe it's better to watch TV with other people than your own. No, seven hours of uh, a week of TV watching is acceptable. No, the writer has not, uh, the author does not agree with this statement, but the author has uh, the opinion that best solution is to turn it off. It means that the answer will be. Option number B, the best plan is to stop watching TV permanently. Okay. Now, what we have learned with this example is that uh, we have to, uh, we have to uh, understand the words only, okay, and 100%. Uh, if there is a word like all, only, 100%, then the meaning of the sentence changes, okay? It means that uh, it is written here that children are affected by violence on TV, okay? If, uh, but only changes the whole scenario. It is written in the passage that violent TV programs cause violent behavior, but only changes the scenario because only represents that violent behavior only is caused by watching violent TV programs and the statement is incorrect. So we have to uh, be very careful of this type of statements. Okay, let's solve another example uh, and uh, our concept will be more clear after solving another example. Okay, so first of all, we have to read the question type. Okay, why the seg uh, choose the correct letter A, B, C or D? The question is why the Segway has been accepted as the most comfortable vehicle for the people with moving problems. Okay, so we have to understand the question that why the Segway has accepted as the most comfortable vehicle with the people with moving problems. They could leave their cars at home and ride Segways from store to store. They could drive from house to house to deliver letter and packages, could quickly inspect distance fields and barns and rangers or parks, could minimize their walking. Why people, why people have been slow to accept Segway? Okay. We have to find the reasons that why it is accepted as the most comfortable and why people are slow to accept Segway. Okay, according to the view of this, although technology moves very quickly, people mindset changes very slowly. What he meant by this? Okay, we have to find these answers in this passage. First answer is uh, why it is accepted as the most comfortable vehicle. Walkers who must walk a lot in their jobs might be primary users of Segways. For example. The police officers could drive segways to patrol city streets and mail carriers could drive from house to house to deliver letters and packages. Okay, we see the word uh, house to house to deliver packages could drive from uh, people with uh, could drive from house to house to deliver letters and packages. But here it has uh, the word is people and here the word is mail carriers. Farmers could easily inspect distant fields and barns and rangers or parks. Security guards could protect neighboring neighborhoods or large buildings. 
any task of requiring a lot walking could be more easier okay now uh, could minimize their walking in all of these scenarios for example uh, uh, leave their cars at home and ride segways from store to store could drive house to house and deliver letters and packages in all those scenarios one thing is common and it is mentioned here that uh, the solution the summarization of this paragraph is that could minimize their walking so our option should be option d why people have been slow to accept segway okay so uh, let's see any task requiring a lot of work could be more easier in cities shoppers could leave their cars at home segway ride from store to store people who could comfortably walk due to age illness or injury could minimize their walking and able to go to places on a segway why is it then that our job sites parks shopping centers have not subsequently filled with segways okay now this is the question introduced in 2001 why hasn't expected revolution taken place study has shown segways can help workers to get their work done in shorter time this saves money engineers admire segway technological marvel business government agencies however unwilling to accept segway yes there has been success in few cities uh this in these cities and among this the cities occasionally you will see golfers uh using segways throughout the world more than 150 security agencies of segways in china recently entered overseas market these examples are encouraging but can hardly be called a revolution the primary reason seem to be people have inherent fear of something new okay so why people have been slow to accept the segway waste too much money no people have various kind of fears maybe it was too hard to manage uh, no people didn't want to replace the existing vehicle no it is clearly mentioned here that they fear that other people, different kinds of people have different kinds of fear inherent fear of doing something new they fear that other people will laugh at them they fear of losing control of the vehicle so the option should be people have various kind of fear b is your option according to the point of view of author uh, the technology moves very quickly people's mindset changes very slowly what he meant by this okay we have to understand the meaning of this statement people cannot accept in innovation advance because people worldwide ride bicycles for transportation people have fears thus cannot accustomed with new form transformation the ideas and attitudes with which people approach the situation cannot be quickly altered okay let's see if we have any kind of information the inventor explained that why it has been slow to accept the segway he said that we didn't realize that although the technology moves quickly people's mindset changes very slowly okay so perhaps 100 years from now people around the world will riding segways so this matches with the statements that the ideas and attitudes with which a person approaches to a situation cannot be quickly altered so our answer will be on uh, d okay so now we have solved three examples in which we have solved the multiple choice questions and uh, the uh, question answers uh, with different choices so uh, i think uh, we we have the clear understanding of how to solve these types of questions but if you still have any questions regarding these types of questions you can send me an email or you can comment in the comment section or uh, you can you can contact me and if you like this video then you should press the like button and share this video with your friends and uh, please subscribe to my channel and then if you need uh, extra materials practice materials for free then just send me an email and i will send you all the materials for free and if you like this video i have made other videos for all the other question types of ielts reading listening and speaking and writing so that you can have the complete overview of ielts thank you